United States government presents Torture, Tool, Technique, and Good Friend. Nah, uh, hello. I'm Agent Braggart of the CIA. OGA. OGA, not the CIA, which you may have heard. I've been instructed by Don Rumsfeld to explain to you a few fun facts about torture. Torture. What is it? Why does it happen? Why do we do it? Why do I tell you to? Why do you like it? I don't know if I want to find out. You sure don't want to. A torture, when properly applied, is both long-lasting and painful. Gee, maybe I should do that to someone else. It'd be a great way to blow off some steam. Sure would be, Private Higgins. But first, you need to find someone to torture. Will anyone do? It's best to get an evildoer, or in a pinch, a wrongdoer. But how do you tell? By their beards, of course. They're suspicious enough to warrant relentless, thorough interrogation. What's interrogation? Didn't they teach you anything at Brookdale Community College or wherever it is you go these days? Interrogation is, well, <laughs> it's wonderful. It's a process that involves extracting information from those that may be a little unwilling. But why? It means you get to put broomsticks in people's rectum, Private. I know you understand that. Now I know about that. I was in skull and bones. Best to leave sodomy to qualified civilian contractors. I ain't accountable. I got undeniable deniability. He makes 4,000 times what you make, Private. I don't have money for all the orange and green soda in the world. Damn, I'm jealous. Don't worry, you get to take pictures of the sodomy. But I don't even have a camera. You do now, thanks to Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam is Uncle Great. You said it. We can do anything as long as we got a flag to hide behind. What do you mean, anything? I mean pain. You gotta know pain. You gotta know your danger zones. Your danger zones are the hands, the eyes, the mouth, the teeth, the groin, the feet. These are your danger zones. Well, that sure sounds dangerous to me. Using training pioneered at the Institute of Advanced Intimidation and embellished by shady intelligence services the world over, you'll soon be able to make a grown man cry in minutes. Seconds, if you know what you're doing. With their buttholes. Got two words for you. Broken glass. Now enough about anal interrogation for now. There's a videotape I'd like to show you. Ministry of Homeland Security presents The Tools of Torture Know them, feel them, make them an extension of your very body. Throughout the history of torture, mankind has perfected of instruments of evil so rancid we can't begin to cover them all. Nonetheless, here are a few. Hoods. Hoods keep things impersonal. Hoods help humiliate. Hoods suffocate. Hoods illuminate. But not nearly as well as a heavy flashlight. Insert in any orifice, shine in blind eyes that have been kept in darkened boxes for weeks on end. Heavy enough to hurt like hell, phallic enough to ring any sadist bell. Don't forget to break them open and drip the acidic chemicals onto naked flesh. Electrical implements. You can imply it or fry it, but nothing smells better than burnt testicles at 2 a.m. in some hellhole prison. Afterwards, relax with a round of soothing rooftop golf, knowing electricity did the job, so you don't have to. Dogs. Let them loose on tender flesh. Makes Muslims feel extra unclean, too, but that's just a fringe benefit compared to the fear of genital mutilation. These are techniques culled from elite German fighting forces. Well, which forces were those ones? Um, not the ones you're thinking of. Well, anyway, now you got them hooded. They can't see you. It's time to soften them up like a hamburg. But in the end, the ultimate tool of torture is the willingness to ignore human rights in pursuit of brutality. The ultimate tool of torture is you. Your fist can be the most efficient implement in your quest for ultimately useless information. Been a long time since my fist has tasted human flesh. Like two days. Always follow the interrogation rules of engagement. General Miller's special blend of herbs and humiliations. Always be prepared to carry out any order. The weakest link in the chain of command is soon set out to dry. If you don't join in the reindeer games, you'll find yourself utterly ostracized. That's because teamwork and can-do spirit trumps independent thought any day. That's the Don Rumsfeld way. Hooray! But for today, let us keep in mind each and every one of our tools of torture. But what if I get caught? Then we scapegoat you and hang you out to dry. But you told me to! Private, that didn't work in Nuremberg, but it will work now. At ease, because you'll be on easy street. A year or two at most, but is that really much of a price to pay to beat a man to death? Sure, it's against the Geneva Convention. When's that ever stopped us? 
fucking Swiss. When's the last time they won a war? I ain't never been to Geneva. I don't bother getting a passport. You're a war criminal now. Just like me. How do you sleep at night? I just remember 9-11. And I haven't had nothing to do with this, really. Well, let's just face it, I like hurting people. Remember the Alamo. All right. We got their hearts and minds all right. In jars. God bless America. God bless money. God bless plausible deniability. Amen. Amen.